In this lesson, we're going to be talking about using grips to edit, modify, and copy geometry. So we'll go ahead and get started by zooming into this area of the screen here. And we've got basic, simple polyline here. And you'll notice that when I select the polyline, on the corners you will see squares, and in the middle, an upside-down triangle. If I click and drag on the middle grip, moving the cursor upwards, I can stretch the polyline, making it about a foot shorter. Moving over to this area, we'll use the grip to rotate geometry. Again, selecting the corner of the grip makes it hot, and then just right-click and choosing Rotate, and then just like anything else, click and drag New Location Points. As we move over to the next area of the drawing, we're going to continue to use grips, this time to work with circle and line. So you can see the circle has grips on each quadrant, as well as a grip located in the center. I can move the circle by selecting or activating the center grip, and I can resize the circle by selecting or activating any one of the quadrant grips. Next, we're going to turn on apparent intersection and extension for entity snaps, and we'll use the grip to extend this line to the apparent intersection of the circle. Now we'll select the geometry representing this computer and mouse, and again select the grip to make it hot, and select the move option. That will move all the geometry, preheat the process for the block, and now we'll use grips to basically make copies of this geometry. That completes the lesson on using grips in BricsCAD. Thank <laughs> you.